good eased positioning of the sun, everybody. The name is Blue Fang, and welcome back to another episode of Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Last time, as we cl we climbed up around the halfway point of Hoo Hoo Mountain, and we fought our first. Well, we fought not our first boss, that was Tolstar. But we fought our boss, the boss of Hoo Hoo Mountain. And now, with that boss fight experience under our belt, we started continuing our climb up Hoo Hoo Mountain. <sighs> I also ranted a lot about how I love Brothership's looks, but I think it's a bit choppy. And I hate the fact they got rid of the level up roulette. Of course, I didn't beat it, but still, like you had, no matter what rank you were in all the previous games, you had to level up roulette from the beginning. And in this game, and in that game, you don't have it at the beginning. Why? That's not a busted tool. Well, I mean, okay, I guess it was, considering everyone just put all their points in power. But still, if you wanted to be balanced with it, you could have just done it. shit. I, ah, oh, shit. One of these Rex is gonna be impossible to dodge. Oh wait, shit. Right. Ah, oh, oh damn. Oh, come on. Damn it. Damn it. Alright, Mario. Take care of the dry bones. Alright. Does the AI prioritize the brother with the lower health? Or do they just prioritize Mario because he's the attacker? Right. Use bros attacks. I will use more bros attacks to try and get the hidden one for a boss fight. Speaking of which, uh, I'll be back. I don't want to show fights on camera that are not necessarily necessary, so yeah, I'll be back. Oh, and here's another thing. Oh, Mario. Mario reaches level 7. Good job, buddy. Let's see, what do I want for you? Probably stash, cause... Probably stash, cause luck has been... No, HP, HP. You need some... You need some meat on your bones. But, uh... Here's another thing that I don't like. Louis, the menu for Luigi. In all the games, it was always that... If you were, when you were Mario, you could push A to confirm your turn. Luigi was always all B button. It made sense. But you have to push A for your block no matter what brother you play, which is never how it was in any of the other previous games, which throws me off, which is bad in a game about timing and timing and strategy. That's like extremely bad. So I'm constantly failing Luigi's action commands. Now nah. Don't get me wrong, I like the game, and I'm willing to fight through it to get myself to go work through the pain, work through it, but if you're a fan of Mario and Luigi, of the prior Mario and Luigi titles, your muscle memory is going to screw with you. And is it just me or is they treating Luigi like a Pikmin? What else do you call Luigi logic, aside from a fun gameplay mechanic that is really characterizing? Anyways, I'll be back. We're back and Luigi gets his level up. Alright, bro. Your stash is looking a bit lonely there. Didn't get a didn't get a boost, so. Let me help it out. Right. 
Items are becoming... I don't necessarily like item stores in this game because you can just find a lot of item blocks in the wild. But... Whoa. Oh, hey, look, the Mushroom Kingdom. That's cool. But clothing stores are great. You always need equipment stores. Here's a save block. We're at the summit of the mountain. Nice. And we're only like what six minutes in? Yeah, six minutes in. Uh, let's check out the telescope. Hmm. So here's Homer's job. Here's a creepy bush. There's nuclear acid piss. There's regular water. There's freaky walnuts. There's the road you tell your enemies to drive on. There's a school where you send children children you don't want. There's where they go to college. And there's where they go to work. Anyways, now that we've gotten a sufficient lay layout of the Bean Bean Kingdom, let's head over here. First, we must heal. If we need healing. All right, the combatants are set, and it's time to see who would win a death battle. <laughs> Boys, what are you doing? Why are you kicking that? Well, that's a really large stone and got a hoo hoo block. And I tell you, anyone who tries to get a hoo hoo block down a mountain is a thief in my book. Huh? My name? All oh, right, I'm called Babladadon. What's that? The townsfolk are worried about me, really. But I didn't need to make them worry. See, what happened is this. I saw Prince Beasley and I followed him up here. And then I saw this huge egg up here and I was shocked. I was speechless, which is rare. So anyway, I've just been up here keeping this poor egg warm ever since. Yep, that's the deal. I think something will hatch out of it pretty soon. That's what happens with eggs. Oh, it's here, it's time. Oh, wow, it's about to hatch. I can't take the suspense. Google. Well, that's a shock. Talk about one crazy egg. Bruh. Ah! Whoa! Penguin! Whoa! Let's go. Behold! Drago Ho Ho. Your high, high school is going to be miserable for you. Ah, okay. I did not learn his tells very well at all. Y you know what? That's fine. Because we have brother's attacks. And that I apparently cannot stop failing for the life of me. I think it's again you want to destroy the stone because that would make attacks easier to dodge. And oh shit, now he's big again. Ah. Ah. Uh. Nope. I don't want to use a one up yet. Mario, here you go, man. Ah. Ah. Huh. Huh. 
I always like making, if I have to heal, it's gonna be on Luigi's turn. Cause that's, his stats are better layered for healing. And there it is, that's it. 420! Oh, but none of them leveled up. And whatever, whatever. Ew! Ew! <laughs> Cheers to your mustaches. What happened to you? You call him dazzling? Motherfucker looks like a failed fusion of Lord Farquaad and, Pr and Shrek. And they took all of the worst features of Shrek and put it on Farquaad. <laughs> well, I suppose you could call it a bit of an accident. As I was investigating events throughout the country for this top secret mission, I suddenly encountered Cacoletta and her vile underling, Bob, here on this mountain. By the time I realized who the fiends were, it was too late. They transformed me into that and shook me inside of the egg. That's so, Princess Peach's voice has been stolen. <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't worry about Princess Peach. I'm sure she'll be quite fine. At any rate, we should chase after Cacoletta. I want you to visit Queen Bean in Bean Bean Castle once you climb down the mountain. It may be that Cacoletta's next target at Bean Bean Castle. I'd bet my life on it. Oh, <laughs> there's a gift from me. Autographed, of course. Where why would you sign a rose? <laughs> yes, I think a rose matches your green perfectly. If you show that rose at Bean Bean Castle, they'll permit you to enter. Thank you for showing me your for letting me have a rose, but still, dude, why would you sign a rose? And with that, I must get back to my mission. We may we meet again. Okay, I guess you were time so we can get a entry, but you signed it preemptively, not knowing we were here. You ruined a rose. Anyways, so. Now we have a quick ride up and down the mountain, should you ever want it, but we do not. And there's a particular other house that we want to investigate. Around here, that needed hoo-hoo blocks. And you might remember that a hoo-hoo block fell down. Let's head back to that house. I was about to say shall we, but then I was like, nah, shall we's lame and boring. Was it down the cave? No, we needed hammer. Uh, was it over this way? Yeah, it probably was over this way. Was it this house? No. Nope, and that's where we were blocked. I did not remember my way around this town. Also, Luigi. Nope, oh, Mario. Get in front. Now, Luigi. It looks so wrong, but so right. It's you! Hmm, <laughs> boy, did you two arrive exactly the right time? Just now, a hoo hoo block fell down from the waterfall. Check it out, who used it like you the ultimate hammer? We forgot our voices, so I'm just you could do Arnold. Or jogging from Strangle from Fairly Odd Towns. Anyway, it's really hard to do this. If anyone here is from a voice acting agency, call me up, I want to do it. Oh, oh, oh man, it feels so great to be making hammers after such a long break. In fact, it feels so damn great that we're gonna make, we're gonna ahead and make you got two hammers. Look at the craftsmanship. Pow! Now you're playing with power. Nintendo power. <laughs> yeah, you gotta write these bad boys now all yours. You got hammers! Plural. You can use solo hammer action. I guess we ought to teach you how guys how to properly use hammers, huh? First, press the R button to select your hammer. Hammer. Then press the A button to whack stuff. That's it. But uh, right now, only the guy in front can use the hammer. So the action the guy is called a solo action. The action the guy in the back of the people is called a bros action. This is the most basic of all basics. Remember it. Try whacking all kinds of stuff with those hammers. What nearly whack brings the hardest of rocks? You know you ought to break that hammer by smashing the rock in the next room. 
the hell did that voice devolve into? But anyways... Nut. <laughs> Nut. We now have the ability to break rocks. So... Now we were in here. You might remember that there was a cave down here that you could... That had some breakable rocks. And I want to show something real quick. Well, okay, first... Boom. Making our way forward. We're making our way forward. Going slow and so fast. And we're going... -na 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 -na. We're just going. Nothing else is here. Where's the cave? It, the first word was hoo hoo. You didn't need to erase the entirety of the sentence for the save block. Yeah, it was over here, wasn't it? Yes, yes. So as you can see, these brown rocks are completely breakable. However, these gray rocks still got a little more, still got a little more oomph to them. In case you're wondering, yes, we do get better hammers throughout the game. But for now, I'm just glad that to even have a hammer. But remember, right bumper, the right bumper is for the bro in the front, the left is for the bro in the back. But yeah, let's make our way forward. Carry on doing the adventure. And now we have a new destination, Bean Bean Castle Town, as it seems like that's the ne most likely place they're gonna attack. Hammer, hammer. HAMMER! Now then, Luigi, do me the honors. Hammer! Wait, hold up. Watch this. You can. This is actually, believe it or not, this is actually a limited time thing, but because later on they'll receive bros moves with the hammers. But that's still such a funny little detail. They get mad at each other when you whack them with the hammers. Of course, the detail is less funny on my end because I can't hear Jack, but you know what? That don't matter. I should stop complaining to you all about not being able to hear the audio when recording a console game. What's down here? Ooh, items. We got a mushroom, a syrup, a mushroom, a syrup. Okay, so that's just a fall too deep, so we can't climb up there. Mr. Stark, I'm not exactly, uh, feeling too good. Again, the first word was hoo-hoo. You didn't need to erase it. Oh, I... I'm gonna call the episode here. Next time on Mario and Luigi Super... On Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. We're gonna continue... We're going to go into this cave and hopefully fully descend down the mountain. And we're going to start our way to the new destination of Bean Bean Castle Town. As Prince Peasley theorizes that the queen of the Bean Bean Kingdom is most likely Cacletta's next target. But until that time happens, the name is Blue Fang. And I bid you all a good west positioning of the sun, everybody. Take care. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye.